forgot one thing. We also teach them to read. So these are flashcards that we present to the child. And this is the letter G for G, G, the letter G. Who giggles and says G, 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 the giddy, giggly girls. G, 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 G. Behind it, there's a song that Mrs. Harrison actually sings to the children. It says, giggly girls giggle and giggle. They think it's good to giggle, but it's not fun to hear them. Giggle and giggle and giggle. So this is a good way for them to learn how to recognize the letter. As they recognize the letter, they go into a reading scheme. Now this reading scheme has been invented by us and the phonetic sounds of the letters. And each of the children gets a book. So Mrs. Harrison reads with them. So we do book one, book two, book three, book four, book five, book six. And as they've read all those books, they're going to come up to book uh, seven, eight, nine. So this one's book nine. And it says, you help the children to read by saying, kids, 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 Bill, Jan, Kim, Dot. Bill can run fast. Jan is bad. Dot wants to pat the dog. Kim will let the cat in. Mom and dad in the car. So the idea is it's all little stories that actually relate to family. So put this one away. And of course there are about 34 books, so there's a lot, lot of lot to get through. Lots of things to do in this classroom. So Mrs. Harrison focuses on biology, mathematics, and literacy. We also have maps of the world. Uh, we have uh, the different continents. So the idea is to teach the children about the planet Earth, and that we live in Europe, and that some other children may live in Africa, Asia, or, uh, yes, um, Australia, Antarctica, what is it, North America, South America, and that one's uh, related to that, and Antarctica. We also have different types of continents that we're teaching them, we're teaching them about uh, Australia, also about uh, Asia, and also South America, so they're enlarged maps. We also have Europe, we also have Africa, and we have North America. So lots of things to teach them. And uh, there, okay, that's about it. We'll go downstairs. Um, yeah, we'll open this one. <laughs> As we go downstairs, please come along with me to be very careful, <laughs> hold on to the rails. So this is the two to three classroom. There's a bit of a stone on the floor, please come in. On each of the doors, on, uh, in each of the classroom, on each of the doors, we have a list of things that all the children have to do throughout the year. So I'll just read it out for you because you can't see it. So we have elementary movements and activities, carrying, pouring, opening and shutting, walking on the line, threading, folding, washing, dressing, hair, teeth, dressing, um, dusting, sweeping, polishing, general discussion of time, greeting, sharing, knob cylinders, pink tower, broad stairs, color box one and two, long rods, sound boxes, touch boards, etc, etc. So we do lots of things throughout the year. This is the two to three classroom. And the children, in this classroom, it's a lot easier for them. It's a lot calmer, because two to three is a, it's a little bit more challenging at this age. And what they learn at this age is to touch something, to look at something, to bite at something, and to break it. So the idea is that all the objects and the games are here to teach them about, uh, for example, on this side, we have ge geometric, uh, geometrical shapes. So we have fractions, we have spheres counting up from 1 to 5, we have a, a fraction game at the back, we have uh, different uh, geometric shapes, uh, we have a counting exercise that they've been done, um, uh, I've seen uh, one of the children do it lately. I also have one-to-one -one correspondence, uh, we add in the, be um, the beans or the peas, um, during that time we have to be very careful so usually there are beans in here and we just transfer them from one bowl to another we also have one-to-one -one correspondence so the idea is that you put liquid inside it and they, they have to actually pour it from one uh, recipient to another like that 
So it's what we call practical life. We're at the end of the year, so of course everything's been cleaned up right now. So we're in June. Um, um, what date is the, I think it's the 19th. And we also have, for example, teaching children how to uh, have a, a fork, a knife, a spoon, a cup, so they can learn how to drink. And this is two to three, so it's all about manners. We also have, uh, this is a one-to-one -one correspondence that has the mole nuts. Uh, we always try to keep big, large things so they can't eat it or put it in their mouth. And we have to be very careful at two to three. So you can't put any type of exercise in this classroom. And that's the idea. And then they can put it back into the other bowl. So what does it teach them? Finger gripping, developing muscles in the fingers. Um, eye control, so it's uh, coordination with the eye and the hand, so moving objects from one bowl to the other. That's the idea. So put that one back. It's also about putting the exercises back on the shelf uh, wherever they found it. So on the back of the classroom we have a kitchen, and inside the kitchen we have some of the babies. So we have baby one, baby two, and baby three. And this is all about like being at home. So the baby sits in the chair, and we're actually teaching them how the baby should eat. So inside the kitchen, uh, we have like different plates. Uh, here's the plate. They put them away for the end of the year, so everything's disappeared. Okay, so we have maybe the pizza. So the maybe the baby would like to have a pizza, and it's all about role playing because the child develops in a pile. So. Each letter um, stands for something, so P for physical development, I for intellectual development, L for language development, E for emotional development, and S for social development. So each classroom is set as an environment, and this environment is set for that age group. So we have an, uh, and this is an environment for the two to three, so we get them to learn about the house and what's inside the house. Maybe we can find beds, so that's, that's language development. It's B for bed and inside the bed it maybe is, is uh, let's say Giovanni and Giovanni is having a little sleep and maybe we put him into the house or maybe another room and then we have different cars so they can play at this. It's all about developing uh, cognitive skills within the develops, the um, intellectual development of the child. We also have the beads. This is all tactile, colors. This is yellow, this is red, this is brown, this is blue, this is green etc. Lately they've been learning, learning about platypus, so they colour about the platypus, maybe we'll have a story about a platypus, we'll have a group activity about a platypus, maybe somebody can be a platypus. So the idea is to interact, so they have to draw something, act at something and then sing. So you know you're creating uh, memory links or creating neural pathways within the brains, the child's brain. We also, they've been doing about uh, farmhouses and the farmhouses what do they have? They have a horse, they have sheep, they have many different things. They also learn about colors, about putting their hands on the paper. So we've got Arthur, we've got Raphael, we've got George, we've got Kevin, we've got Francisco, and we've got many other things. So in the classroom, it's all about tactile. We have uh, different things that they can feel and touch. And it's all about using the five senses in this classroom. It's really you can't eat it, you can't put it in the mouth, it's too big. So that's the reason why we choose specific exercises for that. So I'll let you follow me. So uh, for the two to three, of course, we do potty training. It's very important to potty train the children. So on this, uh, this is the toilet door. So on the toilet door, uh, we have a list of different activities that they have to do in order to go to the toilet. And we also have a song that goes with the potty training in order to make it fun and enjoyable, not just a tedious task. So out at the back we have a changing area. I have young staff that change the children on here. The towels are changed constantly. We have uh, pampers. Uh, the parents have to bring them in. If not, we have some spare. So it's all about uh, making sure that uh, the whole year goes very smoothly. So I'll let you go back to the other way. We have a shower. So you can actually shower the children. And out here, this is the other entrance for the downstairs, the two to threes, we have a, a washing machine just